What a genius invention. This is brewer's waste. This is the brown sludge at the bottom of your VB factory, Carlton and United Breweries. What do we do with the brown sludge? We'll turn it into a health food. This is very, very, very clever. Vegemite is made out of leftover beer. So having a Vegemite sandwich, for me, as a non-drinking Muslim, is the closest to having a beer after work, except I had it during school hours as well. <laughs> it's actually a, a byproduct of making beer, apparently. That's how the story goes. It's black and it's quite salty. The beginners during World War I, Marmite stocks ran out. So we were looking for something else. Britain started making Marmite in 1902, the world's very first yeast spread. When Aussies couldn't get enough of it, Fred Walker, a businessman in the food industry, saw an opportunity. He challenged a food scientist called Cyril Callister to come up with an equivalent to Marmite. Callister was not much of a marketer. He called it pure vegetable extract, which isn't very sexy. At the time in Australia, there was a craze for public competitions for naming things or designing things. The Australian flag was designed as a result of a competition. Canberra was the result of a competition. So, hey, let's name this new brown paste. But it was a democratic sort of competition because Fred Walker's daughter picks a name out of a hat and the name is Vegemite. The name stuck, but Vegemite didn't at first. Even though it was marketed as a health food for babies. Now, I suggest you mix a little Vegemite in with his milk and give him Vegemite spread on bread and butter. If you feed this salty brewery product to your young children, they will grow up big and strong. Most children adore Vegemite and it's good for them from the age of five months or even younger. Mothers weren't buying it. American company Kraft had invented a spoil-proof processed cheese for soldiers during World War I and Fred Walker became their company rep in Australia. When he died in 1935, Kraft snapped up Vegemite. This is when marketing the struggling product really took off. With competitions and jingles, you name it, Vegemite tried it. Now you can choose the happiest little Vegemite and win this glamorous board Cortina. Vegemite becomes popular. And then during World War II, the British Medical Association has just said, Vegemite is healthy, it's got lots of vitamins. It was given to Australian soldiers in World War II. And so there was a Vegemite shortage in Australia. Yes, Vegemite is a great food and so tasty. Not only for the kiddies, but for all your family. And when something is scarce, it becomes desirable. So people say, oh, the soldiers are eating it, we want it too. So World War II really put Vegemite on the map. And after that, we were all happy little Vegemites. We're happy.